a volcano with the force of an atomic bomb. That's how scientists have described the deadliest volcanic eruptions in history, with hundreds of thousands of people dead and entire civilizations wiped out. Volcanoes have a long history of being a natural calamity. These fire pits from hell are a force to be reckoned with, and today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the deadliest volcanic eruptions in history, starting with the eruption of Santa Maria. On October 25, 1902, Santa Maria erupted violently following a series of earthquakes in the region. Prior to its eruption, the volcano had been dormant for several thousand years. This lack of activity meant that no one expected the volcano to explode, despite earthquakes being a key indicator of volcanic activity. A complete lack of awareness meant that the eruption caught everyone off guard and made timely evacuation impossible. It is expected that over 6,000 people lost their lives due to the eruption of Santa Maria. The resulting 10 cubic kilometers of magma released from the 28-foot-high volcano destroyed everything it touched and killed thousands as the eruption continued for the next weeks. Kelad, Indonesia Erupting in Indonesia back in 1586, the Kelad volcano killed over 10,000 people and is by far the most number of people ever killed by this still active volcano. Kelad isn't dangerous because of how powerful it is, but because of how often it erupts and the resulting mud lahars it creates. Kelad has a lake in its crater, and every time it erupts, this lake produces fast-moving mud flow scald lahars. These lahars, created by boiling water and superheated lava, can be as fast as 20 miles per hour and can burn a person alive. Kelad's 1919 eruption, for example, had lahars hot enough to boil water, traveling over 30 miles and destroying more than 100 villages and claiming 5,100 lives in the process. Mount Vesuvius By far the most famous eruption of all time, the eruption of Mount Vesuvius claimed over 18,000 lives and decimated the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum in 79 AD. It is estimated that the explosion resulting from the eruption was 100,000 times more powerful than that of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bombs. Ash was released from the volcano at a rate of 1.5 million tons per second, with the ash cloud rising over 20 miles up into the sky. According to historical records, the eruption of Mount Vesuvius turned the sky dark and made it look like it was raining fire and ash. Mount Unzen Mega Tsunamis, Earthquakes and Landslides these are all the calamities that hit the Japanese island of Kyushu back in 1792. When Mount Unzen erupted, the eruption triggered tectonic disturbances that launched a mega tsunami and sent waves over 300 feet in height, hurling toward the island, killing close to 20,000 people. The entire series of events can only be described as hell, since, one after the other, the island had to go through the worst that nature had to offer. A 4,000-year-old lava dome landslide started by the eruption, which itself was set off by an earthquake, swept through the town, eventually hitting the shore where it started a tsunami. It is estimated that over two-thirds of the people that died that day drowned to death. The volcano is still very active, and the dense population of island Kyushu lives in fear of the events of 1792 repeating themselves. Mount Somalis Mount Somalis present on the Lombok Island in Indonesia, is thought to be the volcano responsible for one of the worst volcanic eruptions of all time, with the eruption indirectly killing people as far as Greenland. The eruption took place some 800 years ago and released over 40 cubic kilometers worth of rock and debris and sent ash and fumes more than 40 kilometers up into the sky. This eruption was so powerful, it changed weather conditions in areas as far as London and the increased sulfur concentration in the air can be detected even now in polar ice caps. According to some estimates, this eruption was as bad as the number one eruption on our list, since the number of people killed by the famines and weather changes it caused was in the tens of thousands. However, the people that were indirectly affected can't be counted with accuracy, so we're placing it at number five. Minoan Eruption If you're a fan of Greek mythology, you've probably heard of the Crete Minotaur. Well, scientists have apparently found out how the ancient Minotaur's entire island came to an end. The Minoan eruption is one of the oldest eruptions known to have directly affected the outcome of a civilization. Around 1300 years ago, this eruption single-handedly destroyed the people of Crete and killed around 25,000 people. Some historians have even linked the eruption to Plato's imagery of the island of Crete being plunged into the ocean. How bad was the eruption, really? No one knows. 
All that we know of is that it was bad enough that the effects can be seen even today in Greece's Santorini caldera. Armero eruption. Another case of mud lahars killing people. The Armero eruption in Colombia in 1985 killed almost 25,000 people. The tragedy was labeled as a failure of the government, since volcanic activity had actually been detected two months before the inside, but evacuation efforts weren't taken seriously. In the end, volcanic activity melted glaciers, resulting in lahars with speeds of over 50 kilometers per hour. The entire village of over 29,000 people was engulfed, and more than 20,000 of them burned to death in the superheated mud. The composition of the mud made rescue efforts nearly impossible, and when help finally did arrive, most people with serious injuries had already died. The eruption has been labeled as the second deadliest eruption of the 20th century because of its death toll. How bad was the number one deadliest eruption of the 20th century? Well, that would be the Mount Pelé eruption. The Mount Pelé eruption is by far the deadliest eruption of the 20th century, with a death toll of over 30,000 people. The tragedy occurred in 1902 and was so deadly because there was just no warning. Many scientists had claimed that there was no danger of eruption, and the only warning of even a hint of an eruption was the native species of the island fleeing. Sure, there were some earthquakes and an increase in volcanic activity. However, nothing conclusive could have been said about the situation, and it was only when a cloud of ash appeared over the volcano did people realize what was happening. Like something out of a horror movie, the eruption killed over 30,000 people in minutes. No one could escape, and only two people survived thanks to sheer luck. The volcano is active even now and is under constant watch. Unfortunately, the tragedy meant the city of St. Pierre was never really rebuilt. A museum has been constructed to honor the lives that were lost that day. Eruption of Krakatoa The second deadliest eruption in all of recorded history was the eruption of Krakatoa. The eruption occurred in 1883 and is considered to be the loudest noise to be ever recorded in history. Krakatoa was located on an uninhabited island and the explosion was so great, it blew apart the island and sent 70% of it into the ocean. The shockwaves produced by the explosion shattered the eardrums of sailors 5,000 kilometers away and traveled the globe seven times. The eruption resulted in the death of almost 37,000 people, and it is reported that dead bodies could be seen floating in the ocean months after the eruption ended. Krakatoa destroyed itself in the eruption, however, it is growing back and is closely monitored even today. Mount Tambora Taking the number one spot on our list is the eruption of Mount Tambora, with more than 100,000 confirmed deaths and causing what many historians now call the year without summer. The eruption occurred in 1815 in Indonesia and was so powerful that global temperatures changed for over a year, with the US seeing snowfall even in summers. Resulting famine, floods, and tsunamis were just some of the things that the eruption of Mount Tambora caused. It is expected that 10,000 people were killed instantly, whereas the resulting climatic conditions caused the death of at least 83,000 more people. The tsunamis ended up killing the people that survived the eruption, truly a disaster of apocalyptic proportions. Alright folks, that was all for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to smash the like button so you can help our channel grow. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let us know down in the comments below which volcanic eruption you thought was the worst. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and don't forget to shock the mind.